materials you need for your portfolio. There is a dull side and a shiny side to the poster board. When you're coloring and adding design, you definitely want the dull side for painting, markers, coloring, pencils, crayons. When you line this up, make sure it really the corners match, okay? So then I'll fold it like this, and I kind of just, oops, I lent it a little bit. I just hold it firm and press down, and then I can take the ruler from your kit and get a nice crease. Um, I have this little tape dispenser. If you want to use mine, you're welcome to, but you have tape in your kit. And I'm going to get a piece of tape about that width. I don't want to go all the way to the top. And then what you want to do is I'm going to go half and half, flip it over. And I'm going to do this to both sides. And then it acts like an envelope where my artwork will go and then it won't fall out the sides. Everything you can use at any time. So for your portfolios, we can use your watercolor sets that you already have in your kit, or this is student grade acrylic paints. Now these acrylic paints you're gonna use later, but they're high end and expensive. For the portfolios, I'd rather you not use those. We have many colors in here. They should say either brick acrylic, which means it's an acrylic paint, or some of them just say acrylic. Deep back in here, I do have some temper paints. You're welcome to use temper paint for the poster for your portfolio, but most projects you don't want to use your temper paint. This is another huge supply um, cupboard that you're going to use water cups and paper plates. Anytime that you paint, you need water. So I like to use these little jars. When I fill it up, I go a little bit more than half. And then um, if you're mixing big colors of paint, you can use these jars. There's these palettes that you're welcome to use and reuse, or you can use disposable paper plates for mixing and putting your paints on there. If you like large um, amounts of water, you can use these old ice cream buckets. You always, always want to use lots of paper towels. This is for cleaning and drying your paintbrushes. Hey, this is your paintbrush drawer. Now you have a couple size paintbrushes in your kit, but there's many different paintbrushes that you can use here. done painting with acrylic paints and um, you can see I've been painting with yellow I'm gonna rinse it in my water cup and then I'm good and clean and I'm gonna dry it on my paper towel but lo and behold I still have some yellow always always take the time to rinse it really well in the sink I like to take some soap and turn that off so you can hear me and then I just rub it back and forth I'm not scrubbing because that would damage the bristles and I really want to make sure I always get rid of the paint because there's a little plastic in acrylics and if it dries, it'll wreck your paintbrush. And so I like to take my um, fingernail and just kind of comb through the bristles in the direction of the bristles so I'm not scrubbing it. And then again, I'm going to go back to my um, paper towel and if color still shows up, I'd repeat that it's nice and clean. And so I'm good. I either put it back in my kit if it's my paintbrushes or if I borrowed it, I put it in 